Finally, we now know where these boys got the idea from. One word, Facebook. So recently, this group of teenagers made headlines after being caught and arrested in the process of using one of their girlfriend's head for money rituals in Ogun State, Nigeria. So when this news broke out, my first question is who gave them the ideas? These are 17 years old to 20 years old teenagers. So obviously for them to do something like that, someone put it in their head. These are the kids you tell to wash plates before they wash plates. These group of boys can't wash their boxers unless someone tells them to. So I knew for them to do such a very disturbing act someone must have put it in their head and from what we know they say they got the idea from facebook so according to the confession soliu the supposed boyfriend to the deceased girl the victim they used claimed that mustafa akim i guess the one in the middle was the one who introduced him to the girl last year december which is barely a month ago he was the one that is mustafa akim was the one who came up with the idea to do money rituals. So when the boys were together simply just hanging out, Akeem brought up the idea that they did money rituals. And when they asked how they were going to do it, he was the one who said he saw something on Facebook that listed the ingredients and the process of how they were going to make money with the human head and that he had a screenshot of the whole list and processes and so it's unclear whether or not it's before or after but within that same period Mustafa Akim gave um, Soliyu the phone number of um, Sophia, the, the girl that they used for the ritual and asked him to befriend her now according to uh, Soliyu he just felt this was just a free hookup he did not know that the boy had in mind that eventually that girl would be the victim of their money ritual plan. So days leading up to the day they were supposed to do the money rituals, it was said that Akim kept pressuring the boys, all of them, including um, Suliu, that you know they should do the ritual as planned, claiming that he had bought all the ingredients, everything listed on the Facebook page. He had bought them. It was just to get the human head that was remaining. And when they asked whose head they were going to use, Akin told uh, Soliu that they were going to use Sophia's head because she's a bad girl. And that was how they were able to decide on whose head they were going to use. So it's possible that Akin himself had thought about it long before he even approached the boys. And he was just hooking the girl up with uh, Soliu because, you know, he probably wanted her to be in the circle till the day he was ready to do the ritual. So on the day it happened, it was said that the young girl was at home cooking beans for the family and um, after she finished cooking, she excused herself, like she took permission to go somewhere and, and that she would be back soon enough, which they let her go. It's unclear her age, but I'm guessing she's going to be a teenager too. And so she went to her boyfriend's house, uh, Soleil's house. It was dead where this group of boys pounced out from nowhere, held her down strangled her and then beheaded her it's almost like now that we know where these boys got the information from hopefully the police will do a deeper investigation as to the facebook page they got it from and see if they can find a way to shut it down or find the people behind it honestly because this is really really disturbing only god knows how many more people must have seen that page and is doing the same thing it was said and they're getting away with it don't forget the criminals are only those we catch. Imagine how many more people must have done this and we've not caught them. Because Facebook is a free platform that is available to a lot of people including children. So just imagine how many naive, money hungry people must have stumbled upon that same page that these boys got their inspiration from. At this point we don't know what their fate would be but we are suspecting that they may all get a life sentence and probably the adult there or the one who planned all of these deaths, I think Mustafa Akim himself might get the death sentence. I, I don't know because this is really, really disturbing. So guys, let me know what you think. Do you think the Facebook page should be tracked down and whoever is behind it should also be arrested? Or do you think it's really not their problem? After all, the person did not exactly push them to do it directly. Because if these people got it from the internet and only God knows who the next victim would be,